Hey, what's up, nation? Today we're going to be comparing the hex bar deadlift versus the barbell deadlift. And if you missed my last video in the Versus series where we compared the close grip bench press versus weighted dips, I'll put a link down to that video in the info section below. Now, aside from wanting to be a straight beast in the gym, lifting loads of weight on your deadlift, Pulling power is also greatly related to sprinting and jumping ability and no lift builds this kind of raw power better than deadlifts. But if your goal is purely overall power, traditional barbell deadlifts may actually be holding you back. This is because unless your technique is 100% perfect, you could be bringing more of your back muscles into the movement if you're extending your knees too early. When this happens, not only are you at a major risk of a back injury, but you also greatly underutilize your hip extensors as well. Remember guys, if you're deadlifting and you're not feeling your glutes and hamstrings activate, chances are your form is off and you're missing out on all kinds of gains that could be happening. So to fix this and focus on the raw power that the deadlift can bring to your gains, you should try using the hexagonal bar or the hex bar for sure. When using the hex bar, you'll instantly be able to put yourself into a position that places less stress on your spinal extensors and brings the load of the weight closer to the midline of your body, which will give you more power right from the start of the movement. Remember, when you perform a conventional or sumo deadlift, the barbell is in front of your body at the beginning of the movement. This means that when you pull the weight off the floor, you have to not only pull it up, but you also have to pull it back at the same time. In fact, this is usually why most people end up hurting their lower back. It's because to perform the conventional deadlift or sumo deadlift, you're already beginning the movement with your center of gravity being thrown off a bit and pulled forward. But with the hex bar, from start to finish, your body is exactly where it needs to be to apply as much force as possible to lift as much weight as you can. So if you're not a, comp a competing power lifter where you have to lift conventional or sumo and you're looking for a way to vastly increase your overall power and strength with deadlifts, then you should definitely switch it up and try hex bar deadlifts. And I would also recommend that if you're a beginner and have access to a hex bar, that you start with this variation as well to ensure that you're engaging the correct muscles to perform the lift. I'd also like to mention that if you have back pain when deadlifting, but really love deadlifting, then you should definitely switch to the hex bar because it will greatly minimize the stress placed on your lower back. Now go get those deadlift gains nation and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Hit that like and subscribe button for more great content and if you're looking for a new full 12 week program to build muscle and strength check out my 12 week transformation challenge. The link is in the info section below and the entire program can be viewed on my new phone app as well and it's pretty sweet so make sure you check it out. And as always more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.